Four Seasons, The Legacy. For over 30 years, the benchmark for excellence in the Ozarks has been measured by the development of Horseshoe Bend. Four Seasons has created a world-class resort community while preserving the integrity of one of Missouri's most beautiful lake areas, the Ozark Wilderness. The recent completion of the community bridge now links our eastern shore with the Shawnee Bend Peninsula, home of our newest development, Portachima, a Four Seasons community featuring the Jack Nicholas Championship Signature Course, scheduled for opening the summer of the year 2000. The Golden Bear, Jack Nicholas. The bank here, you know, to get you to bring the left side up and then you balance, it's fairly fast. Then, then, then when, when you get up and you come across, then when you start to go into the horizon working across the outside, that's when we start this coming back up here and then the, and the, and the pitch off of here that gets not really usable but just feeds the golf ball anything from the right. 460 yard hole, you really, you're gonna say, okay, the fairway line then is gonna come, you know, come, come, come around here like this. Which one's the green? Okay, so obviously that tree down there is gonna have to come out. Okay, so then what we really, I don't really think we have to do a heck of a lot here. I don't think you need a bunker on the hole right now. I think, I think that the hole will look spectacular from here and it will look great, well, fantastic from here. Oh, take yeah. Those trees oh, out, take that whole thing whole down. Thing oh. down from here on here. I don't, I don't think the water, the amount, the amount of water you come, come off the hill, I don't, I would, even if the water came on the hill, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. And where's it going to go? How, how much you got coming on the hill? You got the peak of the hill, it's going to break that way or that way. The rest of it's going to, you don't have enough water to worry about. If you would have to rank properties on a scale of one to 10, uh, this is certainly would rank well up into the, in, 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 into the ten, close to the 10 area, if there ever was a 10. The golf course has got nice variety, it's beautiful, it's a great piece of property, and um, we had a lot of fun with it. We're going to have more too. There's some great, great looking holes on this golf course. Oh, the tree's got to go. You take all this group of trees out, if you put a bunker here that, that really takes up this area, then really then what you do is you stop a golf ball from getting on down in there. Green sits in here, sort of like this. I know, it's just here. I'm gonna sit like this. Sure, it's just it's just a flow. I don't I don't want a, one of these. It's just a flow. Yeah, it's a broad flow. Where bowls in this way, bowls in this way, and then you got cupping up behind it. It's uh, it's going to be a really nice golf course. Set. I mean, we could take the golf course and make it a backbreaker, but I don't think that's what you want here. You want people to enjoy the golf course. It's got plenty of spice in it. That's pretty nice green, guys. This is really, really a nice hole. Isn't this pretty? I mean, there's not, I mean, it's just here. I don't know how they, how, how we get so blind lucky to find this hole. Where did it come from? Mother Nature. I think this is fine back here. This, this, this tucks in here nice. You know, it transitions up nice. You've got nice pitch coming off. Your curl's nice, no crease. This is good. Your front's a little blocked. It's a hell of a green, Peter, now. No, I raised it uh, 16 inches. What we do is rather than dig it down, we'll build it up. Then we can get a little bit more of a hollow in front. We can get a little bit more movement within the green. 
We can put, put a little putt bunker right here in front, a little star bunker, so the third shot has something to pitch it over. But if you do hit it over the bunkers and hit it down through the hollow, you're at least not killed, but you got a chance to run it on into the green. The creek would come down here and would dump into this lake. Mm -hmm. and this creek comes over here and dumps into this lake. So this all becomes an upper lake and then we have a little falls right there. Ooh. All right? Fantastic, are you kidding me? Oh, Peter, come on, look at it, look at it, it's horrible. Yeah, it's just it hor is. It's, it's really horrible. It's horribly beautiful. It's horribly beautiful. <laughs> nice golf hole, isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah, it's gorgeous. It's too sharp. It's just that there's not much personality to the green. And really all you want the green to do is basically flare up so it'll support the golf shot, bowl out in the center, and then a soft, long roll over. And I want the roll cupping, so you can cup the roll. Nice looking golf course, Bruce. The Portuchima community is meticulously planned with waterfront, lake view, golf front, golf view, and wooded properties available and awaiting the most discerning family. A nice pin here, you got, you know, all the back, you got, you got not, it, this, this screen's got really nice cupping to it, nice screen. Bruce is just doing what I usually do, is which is try to be right. consistent through the golf course, and so, it, but uh, the consistency through the golf course is really trying to make things blend and work right. Guys, I don't have any problem with it, I like it. See, what I'm worried about here is the break off. Right. If we can take this and push it back, and if this can flatten just a little bit through here as it does it, and it would just give us a little bit more receptive area right down into here, which is really where you want to drive the ball to try to get home too. The Portuchima community is meticulously planned with waterfront, lake view, golf front, golf view and wooded properties available and awaiting the most discerning family. a Four Seasons Community. The great thing that's happened with Lake of the Ozarks over about the last 15 years is it really has become less boating and more golf. It's now a very important part of our recreational package that we offer the customers that come to the lake. We just wanted to bring the best, so we brought Jack. You know, the average golfer is really interested in an experience. From the time they get out of their car to the time they go home, the experience of how they're taken care of, the, the place that they play, the beauty of it, the, 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 the enjoyment for them is, is not the sh hitting the golf shots, it's the experience of the day and the place. A good golfer, the experience that they have is the strategic golf shots and how you, where you place those golf shots and where you, how, you hit, how you have to hit them and how you're challenged and what's fair and what's not fair. So if you take those two elements, the, the experience of the golf course and the beauty and the strategic part of that golf course and put them together, then you do the best of both worlds. You handle everybody that plays the game of golf. The good player, the, the bad player, the, the average golfer, the senior golfer, the women, you handle everybody. And, and that's what you're trying to do, and that's what we try to do here. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the best one I've done to date.
February 18th, 2000. Yours, sir. Thank you. And the golf ball is yours soon as you retrieve it. Please don't bring it back. I'm not even going out that far in a long time. seasons. Often referred to as the Great Midwest Coast, the Lake of the Ozarks came into existence in 1932 with the completion of Bagnell Dam. With over 1,300 miles of shoreline and stretching 90 miles from one end to the other, the waterway is the largest man-made lake in America, encompassing over 30,000 acres. Unlike lakes created by the Corps of Engineers, families may own property on the water and enjoy the convenience of a boat dock, swimming platforms, and other water amenities. St. Louis businessman and entrepreneur Harold Kopler loved the Ozarks. He purchased 200 acres of lakefront property and in 1964 opened the 125 room Lodge of Four Seasons. Today, the lodge boasts 304 guest rooms, a 225 vessel marina, four restaurants, and a host of resort amenities. That was just the beginning. Mr. Kopler soon purchased 7,200 acres from the Cyrus Wilmore estate which included 80% of Horseshoe Bend. Roads were paved, utilities were brought in, and hundreds of parcels have been developed, forming a truly spectacular community. His dream lives on today as part of the Coppler family tradition, administered by his daughter, Susan Coppler Brown, and son-in-law, Peter Brown. After a 1993 visit to Portofina, Italy, the Browns returned home and began plans for the development of Portachima. Italian for Hillside Harbor, a uniquely styled and master-planned community unlike anything in the lake region. Linked to the heart of the area by the new community bridge, Portachima and its incredible amenities, including the new private Jack Nicklaus Signature Golf Course, promise to set a new standard for quality family lifestyles. Signature designation basically means that your designer of that golf course is Jack Nicklaus, the finest in the world. Nobody that I have ever ever worked with and, and have talked to other developers that they've ever worked with, uh, no designer spends more time at a project 
than Jack Nicholas does individually at a project. He'll be down here eight to ten times. He reviews the drawings in his office continually. He asks questions of the lead designer all the time, almost daily, on the status of the project. Um, every change has to have his approval on it. Uh, it's really his piece of artwork. It's no different than a painting for an artist, and he is the artist. Over 2,300 acres of rolling hills and native oak trees are the backdrop for Porta Chima. Mr. Nicholas has personally overseen all aspects of the course design, and with five sets of tees, all levels of players are certain to be challenged. This spectacular course features seven holes played directly on the Lake of the Ozarks or with a lake view. Permanent memberships to the club at Porta Chima will be exclusive to property owners. Benefits of membership include the 17,000 square foot clubhouse and 12,000 square foot yacht club, both providing private dining rooms and lounges. Other amenities include a full service marina with adjacent swimming pool and tennis courts. Boutiques and a restaurant are also in the master plan. The Porta Chima community is meticulously planned with waterfront, lake view, golf front, golf view, and wooded properties available and awaiting the most discerning families. We're doing a whole community, and we have to do this right. But we consider our finest development we've ever undertaken here at Lake of the Ozarks, Port of Chima. In response to our property owners' requests for quality-built homes, Four Seasons developed a new homes division, assisting families with turnkey custom new homes, from design and construction to landscaping and interior design. The Lodge of Four Seasons is one of the top-rated independently owned family resorts in America. World-class golfing is a specialty, featuring 36 holes of championship golf at the Robert Trent Jones Sr. Signature Course and Seasons Ridge, designed by Ken Cavanaugh. There's also great dining at the Lodge. Listen to live, mellow jazz and enjoy award-winning dining at Toledo's. Or have perfectly aged Angus beef at recently renovated HK's Steakhouse. Four Seasons USA and Porta Chima is a complete community with services and amenities ranging from the state-of-the-art Lake Regional Hospital to one of the nation's largest outdoor shopping malls and scores of other major attractions. Dining Lakeside in the Ozarks embraces over 75 lakefront restaurants, serving quality cuisine ranging from cafe-style meals, award-winning barbecue, Asian fare, and fine dining. The Lee C. Fine Airport provides Four Seasons with commuter jet service to major hubs, making cities like Dallas and Chicago less than three hours away. For over 30 years, the benchmark for excellence in the Ozarks has been measured by the development of Horseshoe Bend. Four Seasons has created a world-class resort community while preserving the integrity of one of Missouri's most beautiful lake areas, the Ozark Wilderness. Every once in a while, we get to live our dreams. Porta Chima offers the ultimate dream. Homes in an incomparable setting, the relaxed lake lifestyle you've always sought, and a Jack Nicholas designed golf course in your backyard. Porta Chima has it all, and it's waiting for you. Whether your stay at the lake is for a day, a week, or a lifetime, Four Seasons has something for everyone. With all the amenities that have made Four Seasons one of the premier addresses in the Midwest, we're certain your stay will be memorable. I would say there's no comparison. This is probably the best summer I've ever had. I am very enthusiastic about the golf course. I would say the best part of living here really is, is feeling that you're in a small community and yet you have all the amenities and the benefits that you have in the city. There's boating, there's water skiing, there's jet skiing, there's golf, I mean, whatever you want, tennis, horseback riding around here, I mean, everything. We feel very, very comfortable that we've made a, an excellent investment being in Porta Chima. It's not just a golfing community. We enjoy all the other activities. We're just enjoying the whole atmosphere of the environment. The investment in Porta Chima is a win-win situation.